Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to find your .minecraft folder. This is going to be a super quick and super simple tutorial, but first, why would you need your .minecraft folder? Well, it's where all of the files in Minecraft are stored. From everything like your, you know, mod files if you're running Forge or Fabric and running mods, or your texture packs and your Minecraft save game files. It's all there. Shaders, packs, everything that you would ever want in Minecraft is basically stored in that .minecraft folder. So that's why it's kind of important to know how to get there, how to find it, and all of that stuff. However, before we do find it, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own Minecraft server up and running quickly and easily in under five minutes. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and truthfully, there is nowhere else that you should start a Minecraft server. If you want a server, Apex is the only place to go. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, you're here to find your .minecraft folder, so let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, you want to just start on your desktop. Not in Minecraft or anything like that, just start on your desktop. And then once you're there, click on the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left of my screen. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, right like this. Then you want to type in run, R-U-N. You'll then have this run app. Yours may not have a one after it. I don't know why mine does, but you will have a run app here. Go ahead and click on that run app. Now, when you open up the run app, if there's something in this text box, delete it. If there isn't, go ahead and click on it. And now you want to type in percent sign app data percent sign. So percent sign A P P D A T A percent sign percent app data percent exactly like what you see here. Let's not overcomplicate this. That's it. Exactly like that right there. Percent sign app data percent sign and then click OK. And just like that, your roaming folder is going to open and look at that. There's a folder right up here at the top called .minecraft. Simple, easy, and if we go ahead and double click on it, we'll see all the stuff we want to see in here. We've got fabric. As I said, if you're running fabric mods, we've got all the different Minecraft assets, like stuff in-game. Skins are shown here as well, by the way. You've also got things like your cosmetics, if you have like cosmetic mods. You've also got crash reports, so if you want to find your Minecraft crash reports, like how to find that, there it is. You've got your logs, so every time you run Minecraft, it creates one of these logs that basically you can go back and see what any, you know, thing that happened in game and that includes stuff like chat on a server but also like back-end issues and things that could have happened and like little errors that your minecraft launcher could be throwing you've got your mods folder there as i said if you have fabric or you know forge mods there's your mods folder you've got your resource packs folder here as well so there you go you click on this any resource packs you have installed texture packs you have installed will be found in here your saves folder guess what this is all the worlds that your minecraft you know currently has right now we just have world border and test world in mine but i have all these old worlds here that i could pull in there if i want to but that's just kind of an archive for me now we've also got screenshots so you want to find your minecraft screenshots here they are here are all of the minecraft screenshots i've taken since when was that 2016 this was look at this this is the first screenshot i took on this computer wow 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 awesome stuff and then if we go ahead and scroll down we can see the last screenshot i took which is going to be this one right here which is in fact just a screenshot of the nether yeah hey that looks pretty good but nevertheless that is how you can find all of that stuff it's all listed here as i said shaders packs are there as well there's even versions so this is all the versions you have currently installed locally in minecraft now if you delete these they're not going to go away or anything like if i delete you know, I don't know, what do I, 1.16.2, if I just delete these, they're not going to go away, like, you can still re-download them, but they're just not locally, so whenever you play 1.16.2, in this case again, and it will re-download it, and then you'll be able to play it, and it'll reappear in this versions folder here, and then, last but not least, we do have, like, some mod stuff, there's also the options.txt, these are actually all the options that you have in Minecraft that you can kind of toggle here, right, you can change these via this, or in-game, I'd recommend changing them in-game to be truthful, because it's just easier that way, but they are there, and all of this stuff is here. Even shaders options are listed there. So there you have it. That is how you can find your .minecraft folder. Again, pretty simple stuff. Just hit the Windows key, type in run, right like so. Hit enter, type in percent app data percent, right like so. Hit enter again, and there is your .minecraft folder. Super simple stuff. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. As you can see, we got incredible survival, incredible skyblock, custom pack. You'll love it. Come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. 117 people online right now but usually over 200 every single day it's kind of a weird time but nonetheless thank you all so, so much for watching give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i can't wait to see you in the next video